good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. I welcome you to this program while you are joining. Share this video, invite others to join. And we are live, we are direct, we are live on YouTube. It is 13 minutes on top of the hour, regardless of where you are. If you are joining us on YouTube, share this video. If you are joining us on Facebook, a Judge Money blog, if you are joining us on YouTube, a Judge Money blog Africa, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the subscription button, rather the, the notification bell that each time we are live, you will get notification. And don't forget to like the video for the algorithm to suppose to do the sharing. If you are watching on Facebook at Judge Money Blog slash TV, you are welcome. Share the video. Invite others to join. If you are joining on Judge Money Blog, share the video. Invite others to join. Alert people from that page because the page is under restriction. You can only alert them by sharing the video and tagging them. If you are joining on Judge Money Blog Official, share the video, like the video for the algorithm to continue also the sharing. Now you are welcome to this program. Of course, you have seen exactly what we are here to do today. We are here to actually continue to expose the enemies of Biafra. We are here to continue the exposition and the, to analyze the enemy's activities in our land. There are so many things that is happening on the internet. So many propaganda, so many lies is being shared against IPOB. And I believe those lies, especially one of them is where they say confession that IPOB comrades, they are confessing. These are the part of the lies they are sharing against IPOB. And those of you who are out there believing that IPOB, we are not doing it the way you want because you are not being informed of what we are doing on how we are doing it. That is your own problem because you chose to be where the enemy is. So when you chose to be where the enemy is, we see you as an enemy and you will no longer know anything about the movement because it is now done confidentially. It is not for the enemies to get the information of what we are doing. Now, we have three things to talk about, or rather, yeah, we have three things to talk about among others. If you look at the image that is right in front of your screen right now, I want you to look at that image. On the, on the other hand, you will see Kenneth Okonkwo. On one hand, you will see Kenneth Okonkwo, which he was, you know, he was an APC member. He was a member of APC. Then you look on the other hand, you will see one of our comrades. His name is Biafra Child. And down there you will see the 
the, you know, image collage where you see our leader Mazen Namdekano, you will see our eternal leader Odume Wojuku, and you will see a criminal that is tagged next to them, and you will also see a politician next to them. We are going to talk about it, and we are going to talk about how those type of collage, how that collage came by, and how those whom we are paid to make that collage and write junk we are paid now first of all let us go to how they are using the video of our comrade to sell their lives how they are using the video of our comrade to sell their lives now you understand that there was a time a month ago and while when the reason why i want to actually talk about this is for you to know how the autopilot infiltrators are manipulating our people i know that so many of you who are cowards who cannot understand you know what it is to fight the enemy so many of you might will be saying that when the enemy comes in front of us we will be shaking you know just because you are a coward on your side does not make any other person a coward just because you are a coward it does not make me a coward i am not a coward you cannot even see cowardice on my face it does not matter where you are it does not matter whom you are as long as you are the enemy you are the enemy if you meet me in in, in you know physically i would still treat you like an enemy the only thing you will do is that if you have a gun you shoot this person that's it that's all there is nothing else you can do because you i mean, you are scared of me so this fact that you are a coward does not make other people a coward that is how because i can see people making you know talking about such things on the media, those who are constructively sabotaging what we are doing, they don't want to come out and say what they want to say. They don't want to come out and say the truth because there is no truth in them. All they do is that every time they make video, they make video, they will just, you know, if you reason it and understand where they are going, you will understand. But that is not why I'm here. The reason why I am here is the lies that is being, you know, threaded or that, that is making round on social media about Biafra Child, which they say that he was talking to the leadership. I believe that so many of you know when he did that broadcast last month. It is almost a month now. If I am not mistaken, that broadcast has been there for like three or four weeks. So where he was talking about how Canon Takano group, we are actually attacking him in Germany to the extent that they even call the cops on him, to the extent that they were having, I you know, they were trying to you know be physical about their approach so when they called the cops on him i believe that was when he said to the leadership are you doing anything about this situation of canon takano and his group so the enemy now turn around use it because the most important thing you will be frustrated at some point when you are watching people that are sabotaging your hard work sabotaging your sacrifice that you have been making you will be frustrated so he went up to say that the leadership if you are not doing anything about these people who are sabotaging us that it means if we go to court i will defend myself so when he made those comments of course you must have seen those videos making round that is a video that's cut out they did is a video of maybe two hours 
two hours broadcast, live broadcast. One month ago, they did not see it. Only recently, because they do not have anything to talk about. They don't have anything now to use to sell lies to you about IPOB. That is the reason why they will go and look for such things and present to you. Because they know that even, you know, even common English, common English, basic English, you cannot be able to explain it to yourself or actually go and look to, for, you know, for the meaning in a dictionary. That's how, if they will be, if they will make themselves available to actually interpret a common vocabulary to you, that means you are, your brain is not functional. That is the reason why when Mazen Nam the Kano's wife came and said to us that Mazen Nam the Kano is mentally sound, that his mental condition is sound, that he has a medical condition, which is his heart, and he's not getting adequate you know, medical care in the DSS facility. Autopilot twisted it and said that Mazen Nam the Kano's wife said that Mazen Nam the Kano is better than us. I don't blame you. You chose not to know, you know, example. I don't blame you. English is not our friend. It is our enemy. English, English language. No, it, it doesn't matter if it is the, the lingua franca. You know, it is not our thing. I don't blame you if you cannot understand it, but do not let other people use it to manipulate you. Do not let other people to use it to actually lie to you. In a word spoken that you will be able to actually look it up in a dictionary, even in your Google, you will be able to look it up. But because you are very lazy, you want everything to be placed for you on a platter of gold. That is the reason why you cannot even look up information so that you will know when somebody is using it to manipulate you or to lie to you. So you, I wouldn't be surprised that when somebody is actually was doing a broadcast talking about the activities of those that are fighting the leadership. And he was frustrated because the leadership, he believed that the leadership is not doing enough to actually reprimand those that are fighting the, the struggle, including Kanon Takan. So that was where the frustration is derived. But, you know, in that regard, every, anybody can be frustrated, including myself. Maybe the day I will be frustrated, I might say something, you know, we are human beings, right? So if you want to decode it or define it in your own manipulative way, that is your own cup of tea. But believe you me, our comrade knows exactly what he said there because he was, and many people have called for the, you know, for the leadership to actually put Kanon Takano in his position. For the leadership to actually, all these cabals that are supporting him, to put them in their position, many people have called up for that. But, you know, I believe that the leadership is actually doing their best because they are very busy, you know, trying to do, you know, all these things that the autopilot are doing. They are trying, they are working both sides. They are actually fighting double front because the autopilot gave everybody double job to do. That is it. So. The leadership is very busy doing the needful. The autopilot is very busy looking for people who, where is their faces, looking for people's faces and people's identity. That is the uh, job of autopilot, looking for people's faces and their identity. To the extent of you seeing those pictures, we have a caller, and I believe that the, the caller wants to, you know, throw more light towards these lies against our comrade. And we are going to take the call, even though we are not taking calls. But let's take this call quickly before we will actually proceed. Uh, the caller on the line, your name and where you're calling from, please. Good morning, Judge Money. Uh, 
Good. Um, my name is Naya Maria Helena. How is everybody doing? Good morning to my fellow dear friends. Um, from Omonoha. Omonoha is um, in the total local government in Biafra land, but I'll be speaking from the United States. Um, just for the year, you're right. I know you're, I felt you're not taking calls, but I felt it's necessary for me to um, say one or two things with regards to the issue before you uh, trajected it or, you know, before you saw, uh, segued into your main topic, which I don't know because I just bumped into you now. So when I saw um, the, what you're trying to highlight, you're bringing up, which has to do with the, our brother, Ramazi, okay. Now, this is what I would like us to know. I saw this thing yesterday on a platform. And when I saw this, I asked myself, I tried to remember, I tried to recall. I believe I have seen the broadcast. But because of the way they caught that portion, I was trying to re-inform myself, re-educate myself, remind myself whether it was the same broadcast I thought or as it did or something new. So now it dawns on me because since this morning I've been I tried to research and I figured that it was the same broadcast I saw that was done last month. This is what is going on. This thing you see, this light that trying to push out, or they have tried to push out, this blackmail, because that's truly really what it is, it's more than a light, it's pure blackmail. It's not just about Ekwerema. Ekwerema is the spokesperson. It's the larger conspiracy. Even Nayanya has a hand in it. Kanata has a hand in it. A whole bunch of them have a hand in it. Even Master Prophet, their hand is hand in it. If Master Prophet platform is functioning, they would have used that platform. What one or two things I want people to know, this event now is a confirmation which I have tried to share that these individuals are working collectively and closely. Anybody who had a doubt if a Perema, Kano, Nakano, Nenayanya were moving together, anybody who had a doubt, this is a confession for you. Because they have tried to work discreetly, but when Master Prophet had a problem and with his sight, and then Ekberema said, I'm giving him some viewers. It wasn't a coincidence. Yeah. So, but you know, when things are happening like this, let me tell you, a lot of uh, some people are worried what is happening. I have been saying it, this is the time of pruning. This is the time of sanitization. Those people who have been hiding, who are not, who have not been bold enough to come out to declare their stand, the continued keeping of mass in the detention, what is going on is what is pushing them out. They cannot hide anymore. And then Nayanya knows that her cup is full. Canada, Canada knows their cup is full. And especially what happened in South Africa was huge for them. They have no other place to run. Now they have tried everything they could to bring down DOS, especially Mazi, um, Edozium, and Mazi Boru. And they have realized they have failed. All their attempts, they failed. So now the next strategy that I'm using now is I want all of you, including you, all of us, to be cognizant of what I'm about to say. Now they want to start attacking the periphery, periphery of this, uh, the, 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 the strength of this group. They started with the head. They couldn't cut off the head. So now they have realized the head is well rooted, which is GOS as a body and Mazi, Edozi, and Martina Zawuru as the, the brain and the, and, the, and the neurons that are firing this project. So now they want to start attacking the lower but like the, the extremities. That is, look at it as the, 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 the feet, the hands, and all that. See whether they can cut them off to weaken the body. Because you, you can see, like, let me give you an example. You see somebody that is alive with a quadruplegy. 
There's a limit. There's a limit to what they can. What they somebody that's on a wheelchair. Yeah, the head might be functioning. If the head is okay, the brain is intact. They can think, but they are, they are limited to what they can do. Somebody who has a stroke and loses partial, you know, part of some part of their body, you can think that that body will not be useful. Yes, they say their mind is working. Their brain. This is what they are trying to do now. So that is the level of attack where they are. They, they are like they have lost decapitating the movement. So now they are trying to walk through the um, um, peripheries, attacking the extremities. Now, because if you pay attention, there's a statement. People don't follow, most people don't follow trend of things. That's why I always use the, line, the word, follow the dots. Connect the dots. When you begin to connect your dots, first of all, you must cross your teeth and dot your eyes. You begin to connect them. They will give you a story, a true picture of what is happening. It wasn't. It was a couple of days ago. Our able HO4 barrister star HO4 came out and said we have stabbed them of information, and it's true. Ask yourself, how did he do that? What have they done? I'm not coming to say it, but it's obvious that the little area they were getting information have finally been blocked, which made the experiment made a very huge next step, which is he came out thinking he was going to business as usual. He, he didn't know he was not going to appear in court in person. He, as usual, he went ahead to declare it at home, <laughs> which, have, which finally stopped. So instead of him, like I told you guys, pay attention to that guy's behavior. I mean, behavior is by training. Pay attention to people's behavior. He speaks volume. What did he do? He cannot answer to his people. He cannot explain how he lost his mojo. So what did he do? He came up with this crazy, stupid black man. Let me ask our people a question. Even if, like, you know, in that case, let's, let's take their own side of the story that Mazi Okechuku came out and said, I'm going to take IPOB to court. He has every right. Of course. He has every right to that apology. Now let me tell you, I made this argument somewhere. I can't remember right now. And I know that I wanted to name Neanya and to everybody that is holding our money. What we are running is a non-profit organization. And when you are running a non-profit organization, my dear brother, George Money, you know what I'm about to say. You are subject to give account to the country, yes. to the community, Who to are the your funders? of your Mm. That is why I've been telling, I've been vocal, telling HOD, DOS. They're supposed to be auditors, bookkeepers. You say no, I have the right to take you to court. He 
has nothing to do with being disobedient. Mm. This is what has kept in Nigeria where it is. Yes. Nigeria does not demand accountability. That is why Nigeria is where they are today. They lack information also. Why, why, why is it that any time our people you're dealing with them, they are quick to collect your money? Whether you give it voluntarily or you're taxed about it or you're forced to bring it, why is it when it comes to account rendering, they, they find it difficult to do? What is the problem? Even here we are. When you start going to Nigeria churches, these are churches they have under classrooms and everything. That's why they don't want to get registered as an organization. Because the government will demand them to update the account. Once you tell them to give render to the money, account for the money, they are taking, you, know, you see the church go in chaos. They'll bring it down. That's what they're trying to do. Even if my say, okay, Chuku, do take, start to say, I'm taking the old bit more. He has nothing to do with it. It's his legitimate right. The question is whether he wins or not. It's a different ballgame. But he has that freedom mm. to do whatever. It's his money. He brought his money to you. He, you, he didn't bring it to you. Even if you when you give it, you have the right to demand. The money I'm giving you, what have you done with it? And the woman is sitting on it. Does not want to give her account. I don't want to. They want to divert attention. That's what is happening. The experiment is not the originator of this crazy blackmail. It is coming from Nene and Co. People will be mindful of it. And let me warn us, oh, they will not start with Mazi Okichuku. That is why we must defend him. Yeah. I'm not just defending him blindly, I'm defending him because I am standing on the truth. What I want us to know is this their game plan is to rubbish IPOD before Mazi comes out. Mm. And the closer it is, or the more obvious it's becoming to them that Mazi is coming out the more they will intensify their actions, activities, no matter how illegal or illegitimate it is. I'm warning us to be wise. This guy cannot control the narrative. I don't know what you're coming to do now. I'm glad you're talking a little bit about this, but you must go back to the so-called thing that wrong, that he claims he fell up as the claim is the leader, he's him, and nobody listening to him. We must play that story strength. That's what he's trying to run away from. I'm going to back off on that. Thank you so much. Bro. Thank you very much. You have reminded me of something. Because that seat at home, I didn't follow it up. I knew. Did he call for any another seat at home recently? Or the one he said as a massacre? The as a massacre failed. He thought Matthew was going to go to court. Remember? Remember the Asaba massacre? Remember the Asaba massacre? Marianela, let me tell you the reason why he keep calling sit at home recently. Remember that eh? this issue of no election in Biafra land, it is emanating, you know, the reason why they are bringing it up is because they want to attract APC-led, you know, group so that they will sponsor them in order to boycott the election in Biafra land so that they even if so that they will rig it even if they were not able to boycott it they will actually cause a little bit of chaos or confusion that even if they rig the election it will be justified so this is exactly the reason why he is actually trying his luck to show them what he got you understand that is why, why the, the seat at home is failing, <laughs> you know, because the gods of our land is also there. And they know that this guy is a criminal. <laughs> so, he, exactly. So he is trying to show them what he got. Exactly. Remember a few days ago. Marian, Marian. Is this what a grown up man who should have a lot in his plate to do? Is that what he'll be coming on social media and be talking about somebody who made a statement? I'm going to take those who have taken me to court. What's wrong with that idea? What is wrong with that, even if he said that? He 
has the right to take any, anybody has the right to take anybody to court. That is why lawyers in America are the high, one of the highest making money making people. I have the right to take my parents to court. Yes. My child has the right to take me to court. Does this stop my child being my child? No. Instead of taking the laws into my hand, or my daughter has taken the laws into her hand, she will take me to court and let go and so it. It doesn't stop us from being parental, you know, whether I'm daughter or mother. Yes. We will go there and civilly sort things out. That's what it is. If I win, fine. If she wins, fine. Why is it our people don't like to confront issues when it comes to them? I would rather have you tell me how you feel with sorry that I'm walking on that ground and pretending to be walking with me when you are walking against me. Mm. You are more dangerous than deadly. Yes. This is where this is where uh, uh, people like uh, Masop, even though uh, uh, Wazrike has his own thing, he says it's Masop. This is where now finally a Hindu says I'm Hindu. How many times have you seen anybody come out and begin to challenge uh, 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 since you declared it? <laughs> Ma, ma, Marian Hedda. This is what they're talking about. God is blackmail. And people are listening to it. No, let's talk about the seat alone that did not go. Let's talk about how he has re destroyed his reputation, if he had any at all. Let's talk about his activities. That's what we should be talking about. Marian Hedda, remember that this guy said a few days ago that they are going to focus, that any other person, including all his irats, they should come stop going to comment section. They should stop replying to anything. They want to focus to get them Biafra in 2023. This same guy said that they don't want to the time that his identity was um you know was actually made public where he come from, his origin. You know, he's he came and said that nobody should respond to anybody, that they all they want now is to make is to focus so now i am asking him all this time he lied to his people that he want to focus so the focusing is looking for a comrade uh, you know broadcast he made one month ago it is part of the focusing it is is it part of the 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 you that say argument i'm making because he has nothing to offer exactly he has I listen to that broadcast. I listen to that broadcast. It's nothing to me. He, look, you have every right to, even according to the Bible, say you have. We have every right to be angry. The only thing you cannot sin while you're angry. Mm. This nonsense that says that you cannot be angry when somebody upset you is wrong. If I'm upset, I will express myself. Of course. You can. You have every right to be angry, but the point that you should not sin in your anger. We're all human. We have emotions. You have your right to express your yourself. Exactly. It's better than not expressing it and then gently destroying life. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have somebody when I get you upset to tell me exactly how you feel. Yes. And then we can reconcile it because maybe you misunderstood me or I misunderstood the true communication, which is the expression of speech. Then I can understand your point of view. If I need to apologize, I will apologize. Exactly. I prefer those people that somebody will. I'm doing something. I don't even know I'm doing something wrong. You are not going to express, you won't call my attention, but you go behind and be destroying my life. Which mm. one is better? I would rather have you express yourself. So there's nothing in this matter. It has no weight. If that's the only thing that bring it to the fight, shame on them. That means they have nothing. They're complete empty. And we cannot follow them. Let's talk about substances. What happened at the city at home? As a massacre and all the city at home, the bastard that they call. This guy has run out of gas. He has no fuel in his tank. That's the bottom line. Continue. That is the reason why he, want, he wanted to show APC that he can boycott elections. So, and they remember that recently there is an article that says that, that he went to meet Tinubu in London. With that article of, to give him $25 million. Now, that article is a lie. It was written by autopilot. Of course. It was written by autopilot. They want to use it to off ramp. Let me tell you, let me tell you another thing. Tinubu has no time for this. This woman is looking for attention. They know it's a failure. The thing is, 
that I love is in that letter, that press release, our um, uh, our brother, the comrade Imapo Afurud, is associating ourselves from all his craziness. Is really coming to him like a trend. Yes, that's he's why he's looking he's for who is the more powerful. <laughs> yeah. Now, Marana Heather, don't go anywhere. Since you are here already, since you are here already, let's 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 just get into the next program that I want to reflect him. Okay, so I'll that be watching. I'll be watching. no, are you going to watch on the ground? I thought maybe you would want to actually, you know. And I read that uh, or explain it with me or dot the dot and uh... okay, okay. okay. okay I mean, listen, let me let me let me log in on through my my uh, my uh, laptop so I can be watching and then I'll be commenting through it once I get to them. All right, all right, all right, no problem. So okay, thank you very much for calling. I want dear friends now that you have heard okay this is actually the reason why i pick up her call because i know that definitely that she will have something to actually bring up to, you know for us it is actually why you know two heads two good heads is better than one now i want you to understand that the seat at home failed the first seat at home of asaba massacre it was to actually flaunt himself to the APC-led you know, group that he will be able to bring sit at home on the day of election and there will be no movement. It failed. Do you know why it failed? Now he went to ahead to write a, uh, an article to say that Tinubu meet him in London. I know he did not present it as if he was the one who wrote it. But they are the ones who wrote it. And I will tell you again the reason why he wrote it. That Tinubu met him in London and gave him $25 million to make sure that they boycott an, um, Biafran land part of the election come 2023. That uh, a PDP candidate is not a problem, that it is P2B that is the problem. That he, he they will find a way to stop him. All those rubbish you see there, he wrote it, that is an off-ramp that he want to use. Like I told you, there is, oh, there is talk, there is some people moving that agenda also on the ground. There is people moving that agenda on the ground. From a few months ago, I, I was following this and I've been telling you that. Now, the seat at home was to show it failed. Now he fronted that. Now, the reason why he flaunted that, in case of tomorrow, if what he, you know, he is planning worked, because he understand that if you serve the zoo, your secret will not be kept safe. Because he saw it, how it happened in Anambra State. When he, pro when he charged them one billion to boycott the Anambra State election, he is surprised. You might not Many of you, when I am saying it, many of you will be believing it is a joke. But you are not aware that he knows and he panics and it, it fears him each time I talk about this. Because he does not know me. The truth of the matter is that he does not know me. He does not know which attitude I am actually operating from. Now, him himself... Having seen that that eventually came out, he has to build, you know, create an off ramp in case if another thing comes up, in case if they try to expose him again, that he will use it to off ramp. Remember, the reason why he wrote 25 million that he met in London. Of course, so many of you, all of you know that they might scared to travel from, uh, come out of Finland. All of you are aware that he is very scared to come out of Finland, not to talk of going to London. Now, that is number one. You know that he, do, he does broadcast in his chair every evening for you. Now, you will now be able to trace that he was not in London. So that when they, this talk that they are having leak, he will show you that they started the blackmail saying that he went to London just to cover it up that is the reason why you saw that article 
on your media space, on the public domain. They made it to use it to off-ramp in case if what they are doing is actually brought to the public again. Remember, if you serve the zoo, you return in shame. All he is doing right now, I want to tell you that every activities of Simon Epa, it is business, money in the pocket. Business, business, business. All about his money in the pocket. He is a politician born in Nigeria. Nigeria politicking blood is in him. It's in him. So he, that's why he is very proactive. But when he is proactive, we get out, we actually extract our prima facie from his being proactive. Of course, the intelligent people will understand where I am going. But the fools who follow him that cannot understand a simple vocabulary and cannot go to their dictionary to actually allow the dictionary to explain to them a simple English that will wait for a perima to bring even the things they know it is a lie. He bring it and tell them it is the truth. They will make it actually bring it to the market. Don't you think that people are laughing at you guys? Regardless of all this ignorant set of, you know, derogatories that are all over the place, all over in the comment section, acting as if they are on it. The truth of the matter is, these are the agents. These are the agents. If you want to understand the epitome of what I am trying to say, you will understand it with the activities of Chiamaka Ajere. Chamaka Ajere is a hungry boy that has been trying all his best to see where, you know, he will join. He will join, he will follow suit that will be bringing something to the table. That is the reason why he now, he discovered, remember he discovered and he told you that Simon Epa hunger for money is the reason why he stole the website and he's actually replaced the so-called hello Dumweri account with his own personal account created by i believe by him and azoka and uh, maybe a renora also to use it to continue to extract your money from you in the name of fundraising he told you that, and what he said there was the simple truth. Because he went in, he could see that there is transaction going on. But this transaction, he was not included. And being a friend to Paul Achebe, who went in looking for the truth, looking for where, you know, he will be in order to furnish our people with information. Uh, accidentally he went into the account, into this um, group but he came out with a flying color that is how you know a man it does not matter you have seen the truth it does not matter even if those whom you were working against does not believe that you have changed be your consistent you know be consistent in what you are doing to prove yourself is the only thing Many of us fall the victim of autopilot, including myself, but I only fell the victim of autopilot for maybe a month. From the month that Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped to the next month, which is the month of, I think, August, I realized it. And I came out. I said, no, this cannot be. And I kept firing. So many of you might be thinking, why is it that every time I come online, I must talk about Simon Epa? You know, he made the biggest mistake to actually make me pay attention to his criminality. That is his biggest mistake. I hate criminals. I deal with criminals. I investigate criminals. Man, you or, uh, or 
the Jubu made a mistake. But I'm trying to say something based on what you're saying now. You know, some people come out to act like, oh, any person, I will never follow anybody who has never made mistakes in their lives. Because they don't have so anything to write home about. One thing, even in the, according to the Bible, said, for us, we are human beings that are in flesh. We are subject to errors. What makes you a better human being when you have air and you recognize that or somebody calls your attention? You pay attention to those errors and make a U-turn 180 degrees. Yeah. The problem is when you have made a mistake and your attention is called and it's obvious to you. And instead of you to recognize your mistake, which is subject to every human being, you want to stay there and be acting Galadima. That becomes yeah. the problem. Yeah. Because when you begin to see every of your mistakes as a learning tool, as a learning stage, you become a better human being. This is one of the character flaws black people have. Yeah. Even in our own mistakes, we do not acknowledge the same mistake because we exactly. are more than the same No. Because we are human. A white person will make it. I'm not saying we don't have it. Most of them, that's how they advance. They will make a mistake. You hold their attention and say, oh, then they pay attention. Why did I make this mistake here? And begin to make corrections so that next time they will do it better. They don't know the they ego know. is ignorant. They won't do it. How can you continue to wallow in your sin and expecting a different result? <laughs> Thank you very much for picking that up. Um, there is something else. I believe that we we have actually, let's actually bring this one in order to use it. I want you to see these photos right in front of your screen. In these photos, we are that one that is below because we have treated the first one, which is our comrade, which they are trying to blackmail. Um, our comrade, is you know Mazo Ketugu is one of the you know guys you know that actually made me to to love more in IPOB because he is a very he's a good man and I'm not saying it just to please him me and him we have had our own problems we had our we are, we had our dis misunderstanding but no one knew about it. We had our misunderstanding maybe last month or two months ago. Then we which we is natural. which is natural. Which is natural. Yes, which is natural. Like, even, let me ask a question. I know I do this all the time. Do you know how many times I disappoint myself? No. Do you know how many times I go into argument with myself? No. Everybody does that. That's life. If I say today I'm going to wake up at 2 a.m. and I end up waking up 5 a.m., am I supposed to destroy my life? Haven't I disappointed myself? You did. This is the reality about life. So, as long as you are moving with another human being, you guys must definitely misunderstand yourself, disagree at a point in time. What makes you a mature individual? What makes you a better human being? The ability to call that, express your act, your feelings to the other person, and you two sit down and hash it out. If you want that relationship to continue to grow. Exactly. If you don't want, that's where you terminate it because there's no point wasting your time. Mm. Relationship, that is why you use the ad adjective to qualify relationship. You cultivate a relationship. Cultivate. Check out the word cultivation. Like when you're farming, what do you do? You first clear the ground. You prepare the ground. You put money on the ground. Then you put the seed. Even as you put the seed,
see, when the seeds start coming out, you continue to prune, to clean, to make sure that the weeds do not choke, choke your real crop. Separating the chaff from the wheat. Best. That's relationship. You cultivate relationship. You cannot because you went, you bought a farmland. You went in there to farm. You found out that you have wheat. You say, I'm not going to clear the wheat. Because of that, I'm not going to farm. Then you're not ready to be a farmer. Exactly. You're not ready for relationship. But when you put your seed on the ground, and then you see the, the weeds coming, you say, oh, because I see weeds, I'm going to run away from my farm. No. As a farmer, as a good farmer, it's your job to prune, to clean the weeds, so that you can give the men's seed the ability and the opportunity to grow. And you water it. You make sure enough water. You make sure you put manure, everything shade. When it, it is shaded, you put the shade on the plant. It depends on the plant. If it's yeah. something like yam tubers, you put more sand on the tubers, on the yam, and start growing, and make sure that you bring some uh, uh, plant, uh, some um, sticks to allow it to climb so that it can get more sunshine to produce more, yield more this thing for you. Mm -hmm. That's relationship. It doesn't matter. You must cultivate it. You're not sure it. You have done it. You have let it die. Exactly. So, what is somebody telling me? In any relationship, you must have this understanding, but you cultivate it. That's mm -hmm. what makes you mature. Exactly. So, thank you very much. Just like I was why saying. Let me, let me say one before you go. Do you know why they are coming after my husband? Okay, true. No. I've made this argument before. I'm going to check it. Even in the spiritual fight, you cannot send your, send your army to soldiers where there is no battlefield. And you will send your finest where the battlefield is hot. Mm. So, for them to attack Mazi at this time, they know that it's one of the strong you know, pillars. Because, like I said, they have tried it and they couldn't get it here. So now they are fishing for those they think they are strong. That's why I'm warning all of us. They will come. If Mazi Okechuku is nobody, they will not attack him. Period. I need us to know this. It's true. They will not attack him. And then, Unfortunately, they are coming with a cheek blackmail. Shame on them. Continue, my brother. They have no shame. They have no shame because the people they are dealing with, they have no brain. You know? The, the people they are dealing with, the people that are deceiving, they have no brain. Now... Because they want to be deceived. Exactly. Ahead, so, like I said to you, this guy that I am actually... We are actually talking about. Me and him, we had our own misunderstanding. We actually did not talk for a few days or for a few weeks. We didn't talk. And then one day he called me. He called me. He said that he noticed that we haven't been talking, you know? And I say, yes. I told him, yes, I was angry. We talked like men, you know, like I gave him more respect, you know, from the beginning. I don't have friends. I don't keep friends. I am somebody who does not keep friends. I am good in good terms with everybody, but I don't keep friends. You know, so when I keep somebody as a friend, it means that there is something about that person. There is something about that person. So this guy that they are trying to blackmail is somebody that, you know, I have studied, I have known. I know his weakness. I know his greatness. I know every, I, in fact, I, I, the most important thing is that I know him because he is somebody that I speak to most of the time. So he's a good man and he is somebody who does not hide his feelings. He doesn't pretend. Exactly. And that's what makes him a good man. Yeah. So, why am I trying to say this? Is because them using Mazio Kechuku to do their blackmail. <laughs> you know, it is actually, of course, you see him when he comes to make broadcasts. You see when he's, he gets angry about you, he can lambast you. That day he finished lambast you. If you call him and tell him, my brother didn't do this, he will tell you, you guys will become friends. That is what, how you know a good human being. <laughs> it is not you coming to pretend as if I'm your friend. You know, when you feel like there is something that is 
going on wrong. You will actually, you know, start using, just like our sister said here, I wouldn't say it further because I have less than, I have less than one hour, 30 minutes on this program because our time is running out fast. We have, okay, we have less than an hour to this program. So what I, am I trying to say? Let me now bring to you the next activities of these criminals who want to, you know, blackmail our comrade. Let me now show you what they were doing again. Of course, I have told you about how they plan to write an article to use it to off ramp in case the, the them trying to attract apc to give them money to to equip themselves to see if they will kill soldiers military create panics in biafra land to or in order to boycott biafra uh, uh, the election that will happen in biafra land i have told you that and i want you to sink that into your ears because you will still hear the story like i said i've been following the story now, this is another thing that I found out. I want you to look at this that is next to me. This is we are what you call the zoo media. Mazin Namdekanu made us to understand because this autopilot, they always forget so easily. They forget so easily. Of course, I know that so many of them are the haters of Mazin Namdekanu. These people, this is the zoo media that is called the premium time. Let me now bring you that article before I will bring you the video. Because once these people write those junk, whenever they write those junk that you see they write, they send it directly, the link to Simon Epa because these are the people that are promoting his criminal activities he give them money because you raise fund he you you, you give him your money he use it to actually sponsor gotha media premium time you see is a gotha media and i want to show you something about this gotha media pay attention pay very good attention let's read what premium time they wrote and i will now bring to you i they send it immediately to a very my finland maybe you will be able to read with me because i i placed it on the screen now analysis can obese victory in 2023 presidential election and biafra agitation <laughs> this is exactly what simon Eba titled and they send them tell them how they are going to write it they now write it wrote it because all he was looking for it is that gotha media it is that premium time just like you know it is a media that is a, a bit rampant that is the reason why he, all he is looking for is their logo that's their what do you call it there is footer there is header that's their logo that is exactly what he is looking for, to use it to sell his narrative. Now, let me continue to read. Despite the excitement in the Southeast over P2B's presidential bid, support for the agitation for Biafra remains strong in the region. <laughs> now, that is how he actually put it. That is the reason why he placed himself. Now, follow my cursor. Follow my cursor. You see where he placed himself? He placed himself here and placed the real man on the other side, which is our onion dumas and nam the canon, our eternal leader, Odumegu Ojuku Dim. He placed himself, he placed him his you know his dirty self next to holy people except this politician that he also plays there that is the reason why you will understand that what they are doing it is to desecrate this you know this holy movement this noble cause 
to restore the freedom of mankind. That is exactly what they are doing. You see him, he placed himself here because he was the one who actually sent them this collage that they may use it to write this junk that they have written here. Now, let's go back to the reading. He said, despite the excitement in the Southeast over P2B's presidential bids, support for the agitation remains strong. Now, the message here is what he will use to actually do the, you know, for you to, to define that video collage. Now, after reading, we will now go back to tell you how he, he brought it to his gullible followers and they use it to sell so sell a narrative a lies a manipulative you know lies to his followers since 1999 some group have been seeking the secession of the southeast region from nigeria to become the independent republic of biafra although the southeast is not the only region with separatist agitators these groups have been moved have been most vocal, rather, and consistent in their quest. The, agitation, the agitators said they are driven by feelings of marginalization of the region in the power sharing form, in the power sharing formula of Nigeria and the distribution of resources by successive government. We continue. Also, alleged lopsided appointment by President Mohammed Buhari to the disfavor of the Southeast has been have been linked to the resurgence of pro Biafran Biafra agitation in the region lately. No presidency people in the region grew increasingly frustrated by their inability to produce Nigeria's president since the return of democracy in 1999, despite some of the other region producing at different times. The region which had largely supported the, the main opposition, People Democratic Party, PDP in a bracket, was disappointed that the party in May, picked its 2023 presidential candidate outside the region. This was despite the clamor by Southeast leaders that the region should be given a chance to produce the presidential candidate in 2023, like the PDP, the ruling of a progressive Congress, APC in a bracket, also picked its presidential candidate outside the region. Now, I am going to leave this here for the sake of time. We come back to this one now. We come back to this one. Of course, you can see the write-ups, the the the, the 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 way they they did the writing. It doesn't actually sound professional. So this is actually what was written and posted to. It doesn't sound like it was a journalist writing, a qualified journalist writing this junk that we just read. Now it is not well you know uh set up but the, the argument for somebody like me the main argument i would throw in here now to be this Eberema is not a member of registered by the ob organization period yeah that's the main argument so him putting himself in a collage with mazi and the kind of hamadike one and our eternal leader is bullshit. Even if, let's assume we are talking about leaders now. <laughs> it will be, you know he, where he belongs. He belongs to PDP. He's a politician. Uh, Labour Party, Labour Party, okay? Yeah. You know his party. Okay, so he's vying for presidential election. Okay. Mohamadike, well, you know where he stands. We are for agitation. He is the leader. He is the father of IPOB registered organization, registered organization. Mm. and he's following the step of building on top of one. I like where you are going. Uh, I love it. Uh, I love it where you are going. Yeah. So that was this bastard. Where does he belong? 
group? Where are they having their meetings? <laughs> Just fooling himself. That is one of the things fighting him all on this crazy dry black ass. Mm. Go and write it somewhere. So all this charade that Shinaniga is doing, who are you? That's the question. Who are you? Where are you from? Who are your parents? These other three individuals, we know where they come from. All to their village, all to their family units. Back Nigeria. Where are you from? Who are you? Who is your father, your mother, your siblings? You want to be leader. You're not even starting your own group. You want to search yourself where your name has never been written. <laughs> that, is the, that is why you can't even, you shouldn't be discussed. There are like people who have big dreams, but this one is bogus dream. <laughs> Yeah. Where is your foundation? Where is your wife? Your wife. Where is your wife? Imagine. You want to come and manage population. You, you couldn't, couldn't manage, manage your family. You couldn't manage a single woman. You couldn't manage a single woman. You know in America here, and if you go and look at leadership, one of the criteria, you must have a family. Yeah. People want to see how have you managed your own family mm -hmm. before you can come and manage he couldn't manage a woman, a woman. The woman gave him a run for his money. He couldn't. He can't give account of her where she is today. After he finished impersonating her, her, her job, trying to use her qualification to impersonate himself as mm. whatever he called himself. That was one of the reasons the woman ran away from Yes, him. yes, it's a. And taxation as well. Taxation is also part of the reason he's running out. In fact, he, exactly. he, you are there, you are on point. He, he was using her name to do scams. You mm. have to move far away from him. You are yes. destroying the woman. Because every all this crime he commits will come back to her because he was using her qualification as a certificate, presenting himself, impersonating himself as, as a lawyer. Woman. Yes. He will come back to the woman. The woman has to disassociate herself from him. That's the person that he's talking about. He's not supposed to be, if this is not something that was made up, he has no right to be there. And he knows it. He knows it. That's why he placed himself there. So that's the bottom line. He has been decapitated. He goes nowhere. He knows that. That is why now they're trying to find some tentacles of IPOB they can use to do their job. It's late. The train has left the station. It's late. Period. Yes. Now let me bring the video. What he says there. I want people to listen so that you will now confirm <laughs> this exposition that he was the one who wrote it. And if you check this premium time, I'm actually seeing how bogus it is. You know, if they did not pay somebody to give them their letterhead, to use it and publish it so that when it comes, the people in the premium time will, we, when we come out exposing it, they will say it was not them. <laughs> you know, find a way to go out of it. But let's hear him. So now, if you miss, if you capture this picture, you are going to see our leader, Mazen Namikano. You are going to see our eternal leader, Ikemba Ribebo Juku. You are going to see myself, Simon Ekpa. 
you are going to see the the london boy he said that in the collage that's why you know because he knows that the attention must be focused on the collage that's why he started from the collage is there any news that he's ever reading for you and you starting with the you know with the picture on the on the news no there is none except if it's those that he made i want the attention to be focused on the collage now he is telling you that the gotha media is promoting him as one of the heroes of biafra the gotha media who refused to see mazen nam the Kano as a hero the gotha media who are you know <laughs> yes yeah. Can you call up the men of heroes? Can you read the, 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 the dictionary made of heroes to us? Okay. This guy is qualified. He didn't work anyhow. Let's understand who a hero is. All right. <laughs> but this guy has never been a member of any movement called Biafra. Mm. Even when Bodemogu was alive, he never met Bodemogu. He never spoke with Bodemogu. He never went to Biafra. Okay. How is he a hero? Can you please give what the dictionary means? The meaning of the dictionary meaning of the world, the word hero is a person who is admired for their courage, outstanding achievement, or noble qualities, a war hero. Thank you. Does any of these adjectives, does this guy present <laughs> Are you even sure he was invited? Are you even sure he was invited? Marian, 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 are you even sure he was invited? Because having seen the activities of this guy, he is that person who forced himself to go to. He, 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 is, he is that person. I have, I have been checking out his kind of man. That person who want to go to high profile or gathering, force himself in. That's exactly the type of person he is. And he want to be noticed. These are uninvitees. Go Probably he will pay somebody to make sure to give him that invitation and mm. put you on the IG. Yes. That's the kind of person he is. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly the case. That is exactly what I'm saying. He's not a hero. He's not even a This man cannot even claim to be the hero to that his son. The son does not see him as a hero. No, he wouldn't. The woman does not see him as a hero or a role model. Yeah. Charity begins at home. Correct. Where are you from? We want to know your past glory. Because you think it's an insult to everybody because this guy left Nigeria as a minor. But he lied to his people, say he moved to Europe. He moved to Europe. 
He left Nigeria as a minor. Don't forget. How can a minor? How can a minor move? Was it not was it not through sprint as a sprinter that he left? Was it not how he left? Probably. Probably. Exactly. No, you are there. You are there. <laughs> but he lied to us that he moved. He moved to Europe. <laughs> the information, this is an open You can source this open on internet. That was how he went to Nigeria. To well, he Finland. To Finland and to mm. He went to represent Nigeria as a sprinter. And a, I, I think a, a, a triple jumper. That was mm. where he went. I refused to come back. And then that was how he hooked up with that Finland woman to give him papers. After finishing the process she produced it, right? After using her death, he felt that he had used her after the mandate, you know, expressing his true, crazy, wicked, criminal, criminal potential. The woman has to run for her their life. Yes. That was not happen. It's true. Not only many women, he didn't just go to Europe. If it wasn't true, they represented Nigeria. Who would have given this person? Because you know. Do you know the reason why what you said here made a lot of sense? If you, even though I have heard about it, there is no way the woman will not be loyal. No, no, like, let's just be logical here. The woman that we are talking about is probably older than a very man, number one. And number two is that the woman is not like that good looking she's beautiful but this is not that good looking to actually to be you know constitu constituting things or nuisance that will make make them separate these are um, you know that you know most of the most of the women that actually give a man the, a problem most of them that give a man problem are those beautiful women right they understand they, about yourself, it is not just about physical expression. Yeah. A woman that is confident of herself, irrespective of how she looks. But let me tell you, why he went for this old woman, he thought she was not going to be able to produce a child because all his game plan was to use them to use her to have his papers. He didn't know the woman was going to be able to be pregnant. This guy, that is how people like him are pregnant. That was why he went for an elderly woman. Okay. Woman yes, that's elderly. Cannot he had no intention of marrying that too. Yes. He needed her for papers. Yes. Because he didn't want to come back. So now because the one thing why why I'm trying to counterite that if, if, if a particular woman you think is maybe ugly from your perspective will be somebody's treasure. So I don't go Yeah, so maybe I call it ugly. Maybe it's a wrong narrative. Maybe it's a wrong narrative. Yeah. Like when you say elderly woman, elderly woman, I think is the right word to use there. Because yeah. An elderly woman. Yes. Definitely, definitely. So, like as I was saying, he cap he first of all cap made capture of this collage, which he, he to show you that he is the one who made it. Now it is sending a message. Let's hear the message that he was sending. Listen attentively. You are going to see the London boy. Let us give him a name today. I want autopiloted IPOB to call P2B London boy. Please help me to call him London boy. I want to see London boy on the comment section. Please help me to address him as London boy. I don't know whether you people are hearing me. I can see the first comment. London boy. Yes. Give him London boy. So when you look at the picture, you are going to see London boy. London boy. From today, P2 
it will be coded name as we enter liberation phase of Biafra and as the liberation phase enter water water as the water water continue to increase volume please his name from today is london boy we want this london boy to overtake every name given to p2b so far on social media let us tell him and his group that we are bigger both on social media and on ground because at the end of the day let us assume that this London boy end up in Nigeria poll. He will never get any vote, more than 5 million. Let us even assume. So we are talking about beer France of over 80 million people. So we are bigger in number, both on social media and on ground. So we want to see that London boy as a new name of P2B to overtake every other name given to him on social media. Any place you see where they are talking about P2B, go there and identify yourself. Call him the name London Boy. So when you look at the picture, you are going to see London Boy here. Now, I want you people to understand one thing today. Because from this particular uh, uh, article, from the premium time nigeria pay attention they exposed a lot of things that you need to know they expose a lot of things that those following the london boy need to know they expose a lot of things that the london boy and his group maybe they don't know it before of course the london boy knows very well what i'm talking about but the ignorant nigerians following the london boy are not aware of it especially those who are Shout, who we are shouting Biafra and after they, will, they are now they are shouting London boy now I want you all to understand one thing I want everyone to understand what I'm about to say now is very very important very 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 important Let to refresh this again when it is done refreshing i want you to pay attention now to analyze the collage because it is not the article that is his problem that he is focusing on it is the collage that he made and he gave to premium time zoo government right. media listen if you work in it and all in one remote monitoring and management solution to run your and here we are one moment pay very good attention when the gota media now start promoting you i want to explain something to biafra today you know when the when they come to you, they say, oh, please leave this Biafra. You know, they were never real. These are the criminals in the struggle. They tell you, please leave this Biafra. After P2B, the London boy, after the London boy failed, when Nigeria has dealt with it, when Fulani have finished him, he will be forced to come back and start shouting for Biafra. And if you are a Biafra and you are thinking like this today, your brain will be open. We are going to liberate you because it is the same thing that I have done for many years. The same thing. Nothing has changed. They are telling you now that it is after the London boy have failed. We will now talk about Biafra. If they were deceiving you with Biafra before, we have come to make Biafra a reality. Tell them. Tell them that if the Biafra that we are shouting for was... Now, let us narrate. Let, let me just come in here. Let me just cut it short before he gets to what... I want him to show you now. 
If you will understand, so many of you, you have not on a radio Biafra heard or from the leadership heard where they say to you that we must wait for the, um, the so-called London boy to go and fail before we start shouting Biafra. Have you heard it? The answer is no. Have you ever heard it? The answer is no. So now, where did he get or where is his information emanating? Because now, if you understand that every activities of this criminal boy in Finland is actually all about constructed lies. And because he saw that your mind is very, very atomic. In fact, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are thinking faculty is very, very small. You cannot reason. Porous, yes. That is exactly the reason why he constructs all these lies. He will now throw it at you. The foolish people will continue to write. We continue to write nonsense. Continue, you know, at the end of the day, you ask, are these people human beings? Are they human beings that is digesting all these lies? So that is the reason why. Have you heard it from Radio Biafra? The answer is no. Did you hear it from the leadership? The answer is no. Did the leadership talk about election? The answer is no. The thing we continue to say is that we are not politicians. We are not into politics. What we want is referendum or Biafra to go and or their way, let Nigeria go their way. That is our, you know, slogan. And it will never change. So when somebody is coming, Nigeria. Exactly. Our staff for one Nigeria. Exactly. We cannot. We can't have it both ways. Exactly. We cannot have it both. What people must understand that this battle we are in is a long drawn war, war battle. Exactly. Listen, let me give you, you know, this analogy came to me two days ago. You know, I believe all of us, if not most of us, know Michael Tyson. The boxer. Yes. Mike Tyson is when he was at his prime. Mike Tyson, you cannot give you up to three rounds. That was his strategy. Yes. He was known for his knockouts. Bam, 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 bam. By the third round, you're done and over. Correct. Do you know how people started defeating him? Giving him Patience more time. Patience and endurance. Yes. Mm, he got out. Will he will be frustrated. Let me tell you. Yeah. So let me tell you. What we are in today, the zoo government is Mike Tyson. We are the underdogs. Yes. Just the same way people figured out that the best way to attack this individual, because what do I mean? Nigeria has all the arsenal. They have an upper hand. That's what I'm calling. I'm using Michael Tyson to depict them. No, good analogy. They have the upper hand. They have the money. They have the alliances. They have the ammunition. They have everything. We are just the underdogs. But just like good coaches, we are able to study my Tyson with their uh, uh, um, uh, presence. And they figured out that if only we can, that what this guy lacks is endurance. Mm. If only we can turn, we are him out. He was, he came over. He will be frustrated. That is what is coming to Nigeria. Nigeria already is going down. Nigeria is keeping him from inside out. Nigeria is eating herself out. Yeah. They cannot last only that long. I'm encouraging us to be patient. Tari, Maazi, our Hamadike one must come out. It's been
been reading. The only unfortunate thing, I'm using that word because I know what I'm speaking. These people, yes, they have they are gonna be able to take some idiots away. They're gonna fall away on the wayside. The whole bunch of people are gonna fall away before I'm ready to come comes out. That is only not there. Is their father going to come? Yes. Of course. Does anybody know the time? No. Yes. Is it going to happen in our time? Correct. By his grace, I saw me in it. Correct. This is all I'm trying to do. Let nobody give you a time because Nigeria can only sustain with only half month. Look at the economy. Look at what is going on. Inflation rate. There is no country that will sustain, be able to survive what Nigeria is going on. 2023 is going to be the kicker because they will destroy themselves and what we're going to do is to come in and mop up the rest. Correct. That's what I wanted to mention. Thank you very much. Which country is going to come, you know, succeed with inflation rating that is past 20 marks, 20% 20 mark? Which country on the world will survive it? Very soon, devaluation of Naira will kick in. <laughs> Which country is that? A failed state. So when you are, you know, people who host you when they fail, you look for your own platform to host yourself. Because the people who are hosting us, they have failed. That is the reason why we are searching for our own platform. We are fighting to move into our platform, which was natural. We were there before the Britain brought us to this. So we need to, just like our sister gave his analogy, by using my taxing. It is very, very, you know, very, very intelligent analogy. Because if you know the history of Mike Taxin, there is this guy that, you know, gave him time. They were fighting. He beat off the ears because of frustration. The fight is going on for a very long time. Holyfield. Holyfield. Yes. He beat off the ears because the fight was going on for a very long time. He got frustrated. So when you are fighting somebody that is, you know, that can physically defeat you, all you need is go into your brain, put it in gear. All you need is mental strength. Like Mazen Nam the Khan told all of us, mental strength, we put our brain in gear to withstand, to be able to actually neutralize every attack that is thrown upon us. And that's what, what exactly we are doing. We cannot just come like the way this non-entity in Finland that is coming out to tell you we are getting the Afra in 2023. We are doing this, we are doing that. It is not how it is done. It is not just that predictable. It is not just that easy because the principle that is there, you need to actually, you know, make it to be, you know, to be shallow. You need to remove that principle first. And that principle is that we are taking one step at a time. One step at a time. Do you think if Mazen Namde Khan want to go into a blown arm struggle? Mazen Namde Khan did not go into arm struggle. He went to create a security to protect our land from the invasion of the terrorists because they, they wanted to use terrorists to actually stop Biafra, to actually start taking over our path of our land, killing our people so that we will be scared actually to continue to run away from the land instead of staying there to fight our battle. That's exactly what they were trying to do. So Mazen Namde Khan created a security to actually protect our land because of what he got upstairs. Now one criminal, one non-entity from Finland who could not control his family, cannot put his family in order, come to tell you he is your leader, he is your smoke person. He's bringing himself with holy people. Could you imagine that? It doesn't make sense to people like us who are intelligent. Maybe you yourself, you are unintelligent or maybe you are dumb. That's why it might make sense to you, but it does not make sense to people like me. That's why I always use this analogy that how can you bring people who cannot control their polygamous family small cycle of you know this family to come and rule over 200 million people in nigeria they cannot control their family they cannot lead their family that's why nigeria is failing 
Exactly. Exactly. They cannot control them. They cannot put them in order. They want to put 200 million people in order. Do you know what that means? It is not, you know, they don't hold the competency to put you in order. Likewise, Eberman, he does not hold the competency to be in the forefront of freedom fighting because what he holds is how to lie and manipulate. And we don't need such things in our holy movement because what we are embarking on, it is something that is very, very holy. A just cause. People have died for the, you know, for the sake of this cause. So now somebody is now an unholy person with started with lying to you. He's a lawyer when the wife was the one who was a lawyer. Lying to you, not the wife, the ex-wife. Lying to you that he's a military when he is a conscript. Lying to you about everything. And he even make a photoshops just to convince you. Why is he so eager? Why do you want to call somebody who is willing to kill you for the sake of being relevant? Why do you want that person to fight for your freedom? Is he going to eventually get, if he can eventually get this freedom in his bogus way or means, how are, is he going to be your leader inside your nation building? Because all he wants is relevant. How is this type of person going to be, make a good leader? These are the things we need to continue to answer or ask ourselves. Of course. But when somebody starts lying, when it's not even necessary, yes. that is the one that I've got. I mean, he didn't have to come out to say he was a military person. Mm. It was not necessary yes. to be. He didn't have to come and he didn't have to start using his wife's certifications to claim who he's not. He didn't have to make a Photoshop next to president. Yeah. yeah. Or you could have said that I'm an agent to my wife. If yes. you want to say to my you know, I'm the consultant. I'm an agent to my wife. He could have still been able to carry action and then everything would have been okay. It was unnecessary. Mm. He didn't have to come out and start claiming it is one person for Biafra. It's unnecessary. All you have to do is create your own group. Yes. Then that your features and mission, you start expressing the truth. That yes. All these lies are unnecessary. So the question you ask yourself, why did he find it convenient or necessary to lie when it was not mm. really Necessary. Make some sense to life because this person has no self esteem. That's what he tells me. Yeah. When you see people that lie, when they have no business lying, the first thing you must recognize they have a low self esteem. -esteem. Correct. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in their capacity. So what do they do? They begin to project and maneuver. Lie maneuver. To manifest, to try to manifest what they are not or who they are not because. If you are if you are comfortable with who you are, you don't have to try to lie. Exactly. Because no lie will ever go uncovered. It's a matter of time. Yeah. There is no perfect crime in life. Correct. You can lie now. You can commit a crime now. It's a matter of time. Correct. It's going to be blown open. So that tells you who this idiot is. It's a low life. It's a scumbag. It's a war. That he couldn't even believe that the constable that is a worm. So he has to make up lies to say that he's a lizard. Mm. That's what we are dealing with here. And this is somebody that you want to represent you. If this guy can even lie about his identity, you want him to represent you? Excuse me? Can people ask questions? <laughs> somebody who cannot even tell you who he is. Give you where I come from. Tell you my parents. He cannot do those things. Simple thing that even a little child, even that is so called son, if you meet that young boy and ask him, Who are you? Say, I think he calls him Adam or whatever he calls the boy. The boy will say, I am Adam. My father is a very man. My mother is this. <laughs> yeah. The boy will tell you this. Yeah. Then tell me why this man cannot tell us, My name is the very man. And my parents are this and I come from so so. What is it? And people are not asking the question. That's the problem. I'm ashamed of. 
those people, they don't have the gumption. They don't have the gumption to actually do anything. That's the problem. They don't have what it takes to actually do anything. That is exactly what the problem is. We know who Peter Obi is. We know where he comes from. We know where our other people comes from. We know his wife. Yes. We know where our Mama Dieter comes from. We know his wife. Yes. Where do you come from? Peter, I know. Barnabas, I know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, of course. And they, and they never ask anybody to follow them. They never call themselves spokesperson. Is from our Bible. Um, oh, Marian Heather, um, let me let us proceed because we have less than 30 minutes before we move on. So, there is something I want to show in this his video before then we move on. Listen attentively okay. here. Now, I want this, um, I'm playing it direct from YouTube. I want the advert to just go. You know, apart from the ball, go. And uh, we are firing from. I think he is cracking. Let's hear. And uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, idiots. We are not going to even recognize their confession because they don't want their confession doesn't want to recognize it <laughs> but we're going to do something very clear today like i told you mm -hmm. before we go forward into what we're doing let us first of all bring you nigeria you know because our focus is always on the ball i is the ball we're going for anything you know, apart from the ball, go. And uh, we are firing from. I want you all to look at this. Yeah, this. look at what you see on the screen. When you look at this. His video is cracking. When you look at what you see on the screen, you see the picture. If I would have to refresh that, I need to really <laughs> refresh very much, you know, like, like you're going to the root. So after refreshing, I, he just want, yeah, pay attention. All right, we'll go back again. So now, if you miss, mm. if you capture this uh, picture, you are going to see our leader, Mazen Namikano. You are going to see our eternal leader, Ikemba, the Joko. You are going to see myself, Simon Ekpa. You are going to see 
the the London boy. You are going to see the London boy. Let us give him a name today. I want autopiloted IPOB to copy to be London boy. Please help me to call him London boy. I want to see London boy on the comment section. Please help me to address him as London boy. I don't know whether you people are hearing me. I can see the first comment. London boy. Yes. Give him London boy. So when you look at the picture, you are going to see London boy. London boy. From today, Peter B coded name as we enter liberation phase of Biafra and as the liberation phase enter water water, as the water water continue to increase volume, please, his name from today is London boy. We want this London boy to overtake every name given to P2B so far on social media. Let us tell him and his group that we are bigger both on social media and on ground. Because at the end of the day, let us assume that this London boy end up in million. Let us even assume. So we are talking about the France of over 80 million people. So we are bigger in number, both on social media and on ground. So we want to see that London boy as call him the name London. No. They expose a lot of things that the London boy and his group. Maybe they don't know it before. Of course, the London boy knows very well what I'm talking about. But the ignorant Nigerians following the London boy are not aware of it, especially those who are who we are shouting Biafra and after they are now they are shouting London boy. Now, I want you all to understand one thing. I want everyone to understand what I'm about to say now is very, very important. Very, very, very important. Let me refresh this again. Uh, in case those who are watching on YouTube, if this cut off on YouTube, you go to Facebook. You go and watch on Facebook at Judge Money Blog. If you cut off on YouTube, because I believe the time, setup time is up. So it might cut off on YouTube any moment. So you go to Facebook because we are going to stay in Facebook connected. So let's continue. Now, I want to explain something to Biafrans today. You know, when they, when they come to you, they say, oh, please leave this Biafra. You know, they were never real. These are the criminals in the struggle. They tell you, please leave this Biafra after P2B the London boy, after the London boy failed, when Nigeria This video is cracking too much. Let me actually, he will be fought. Let us actually proceed. Let us actually proceed. What I was trying to pick up here is where he said he compared himself to a more powerful. He compared himself that him he has face that he is showing his face, his face is there. That is the people that the, this, the premium time or the zoo recognize that are fighting for freedom, that these are the people. As he added his face in the collage he made. Now, I, when he said that, that's exactly where it interested me because I wanted to actually bring it back to his gullibles. 
to ask them. Your face is being placed and you are being promoted by the gutter media. Being promoted by the gutter media, which is the zoo, the enemy media. What does that tell you? Just like you know what happened during the time of United Nations declaration or proclamation they issued to Nigeria, when they optimized their ACO, you know, when they actually added ACO to something that happened last year, that it came on top. When you look at it, you see the one Canon Takano did. So they were promoting Canon Takano. Now, this one is promoting Simon Epa, premium time. Why would they promote Simon Epa? What has Simon, even though they know that Simon is not part of IPOB, number one. Number two is that he made this collage to tell you that those who are not showing their face, their face is just like, because he is, he, is he actually yearning to know who is China Samur. He's yearning to know who is Ima Powerful. These people, he is actually been giving him sleepless nights, those people, because he does not know their identity. These people, the reason why you don't know their identity is simple. They are not looking for relevance. They are on the post where they were placed to be. Remember, when the Israelite was coming out of Egypt, the people who actually deviated from instruction went and worshipped idol created for them by Canon Takan. The time of Israelite, uh, Aaron, Aaron, the brother to Moses. So, now they deviated and they started following this idol. Some of them even died on the way. Some of them went back to Egypt. Which the journey they're supposed to travel for days, they traveled it for 400 years. Because they were rebellious. These people, they don't want to make that mistake. The instruction given to them, standing order, you should no account to come up on the media anonymously do what you are doing instruction command and control that is how to know a loyal a loyalty that is how to recognize a, lo a loyalty that is how to recognize somebody who is loyal now somebody who is seeking relevance he is seeking relevance now is the one showing you his face now comparing himself with people who are loyal to the command of Moses during the coming out of the land of slavery to the promised land because he want them to actually worship the idol just like it happened in the past. That's exactly what he is doing. He is every day coming up to tell you these people are not showing their faces. Did you see their faces in this collage that he made? You cannot see their faces because they are not looking for relevance. They want us to get our freedom. That is the reason why they are following instruction. Because had it been that Israelite followed instruction where before Moses went to the mountain, their journey was not going to be prolonged. And some of them will not be cut off. They will not die on the way. Because the story they did not tell you is that so many of them died on the way and so many of them went back to Egypt. That is the story that you might not be able to understand because of, you know, indiscipline. So you want to continue. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. If I go to analyze this segment, you just to add to what you just said. Okay. My addition has some more room is not doing his face. But anytime my decision as a one who goes on radio Biafra, he will tell you where he comes from. Exactly. And from Unkwa. Okay? Exactly. He will tell you from Unkwa. Yes. My people is working on instruction, don't show your face, but he's not shying away from where he, he comes is from. from, even where he is staying. Yes. This individual. Yes, your your face has already been there, so you cannot hide. They're not like you're not showing your face. 
Tell us where you come from. Let's begin to speak differently. Let's analyze you and what you're saying. Everybody, man. When you give instructions to their foreign land or your so called other activity, you said they should go and close down the head bridge. Nobody listened to you. <laughs> Gave instructions they should stop collecting taxes or collecting taxes, whatever. Nobody listened to you. You call something you call civil disobedience. Nobody listened to you. You study with sit at home because a DO attended it. You it became your uh, something you want to mess with. You began to issue sit at home from Monday through Sunday. Nobody listened to you. You realize that the only one people had hired to was the one that was originally initiated and started by IPOB. That is Monday. You lash on it. But even when you do your own, people were not listening to you. They were doing it because it's something they made up their mind to do. Yes. No one is listening to you. Recently, you came up with your so called Asaba Mastercard sit at home. People now 100% this associated themselves with you <laughs> from you to make you to understand that in one day sit at home they have been observing has nothing to do, do with, with you. your instruction or eating Correct. because that's what they want to do that is really what they did to you on this as to let you know that it wasn't your voice we've been listening it's something we have been doing based on what you go as initiated which we brought into which we have we think may help us to show solidarity to our Mahathir Muhammad. Correct. Okay, so I must still have this thing to you. You claim that you want to go to Nigeria. Twice you threaten, not claim, threaten that you go to Nigeria. You never showed up. <laughs> Mahathir Muhammad has never threatened to do anything and he didn't carry it through. Correct. When Mahathir Muhammad comes on Radio Biafra and makes pronouncement and wants the so-called idiots whom you have deceived, whenever you tell them deceit from your atrocity, not that going to expose you, Mazi will give that instruction and his instruction will be carried out. Correct. Even though it's not in Biafra land, people get. Even though he's not showing his face. Out. When he tells them if you do not stop, we're going to catch you. The instructions are being carried out. Meanwhile, he is millions of miles away. I want us to pay attention to this. Who people are really following? <laughs> yeah, they are not seeing face. But they are following his instructions. Yeah. And they are seeing your face. But they don't give a hoot about your instruction or even your threat. Correct. Who is more relevant now? <laughs> Let's talk about our comrade, Emma Pawasa. You don't know his face. I don't know his face. But I know I am Emma Pawasa. Emma Pawasa is Maria Geda. Yeah. But let's go with the analysis. When Comrade Imapa will write any press release, the zoo takes note. They pay attention. Correct. The world takes notice. They pay attention. <laughs> you have been throwing your brimstone and fire from your apartment in Finland. None of them people pay attention to you. None. Absolutely. So again, I'm going to ask you, from Radiman Powerful, we do not see. Yet he's able to release press, and the whole zoo will be in turmoil. They'll be running from one pillar to post. And you that are seeing your face, and every day you're giving state of the next state of, uh, state of the nation press statement, or whatever you call it, and it's like pouring water over a stone. <laughs> Who is more relevant? I want you to answer this. Thank you very much. Who do you think is more relevant? Because this is one of the some of the things that even you add bombs. But let me tell us how this man 